Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, February 6th. It's the fifth week after the Epiphany, and week five in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 77, and Mark chapter 9, verse 30 to 41. And now please join me in singing verse 4 of Psalm 95, to the tune of Pure Nobis. Listen to God's voice today, and harden not your hearts, as in the desert long ago, when our forebears provoked God. O oh God, come to my assistance, Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I cried aloud to you and you heard me. Hallelujah. Psalm 77. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah. I cried aloud to you and you heard me. In the day of my distress, I sought you. I stretched out my arms in the night, <clears throat> and my soul refused to be comforted. I remembered you and was troubled. I complained, and my spirit was overwhelmed. You will not let my eyelids close, and I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. I remember my song in the night, and I commune with my own heart and my spirit searched diligently. Will you cast us off forever? Will you favor us no more? Is your love long gone, gone forever? And does your promise fail? Have you forgotten to be gracious? Have you withheld your tender mercies in anger? I said, this is my grief, but I will remember the years when your right hand was strong. I will remember your works, I will remember your wonders of old. I will meditate on all your works and tell of your mighty acts. Your way, O God, is holy. Who is so great a God as you? You are the God that does wonders. You have declared your strength among the people. You have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. The waters saw you, O God, the waters saw you. They were afraid and the depths trembled. The clouds rained and the skies thundered. Your lightning flashed, your voice was in the heavens, and your lightning illumined the world and the earth shook and trembled. Your way is in the sea and your path in the great waters, yet your footsteps are not seen. You lead your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cried aloud to you, and you heard me. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to Mark, chapter 9, beginning at verse 30. They went on from there and passed through Galilee. And Jesus did not want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying, and were afraid to ask him. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another, Who was the greatest? He sat down, he called the twelve, and he said to them, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. And then he took a little child, and he put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, 
And whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. John said to him, Teacher, we saw someone casting out demons in your name, and we tried to stop him because he was not following us. But Jesus said, Do not stop him, for no one who does a deed of power in my name will be able soon afterward to speak evil of me. Whoever is not against us is for us. For I truly tell you, whoever gives you a cup of water to drink because you bear the name of Christ will by no means lose the reward. Here ends the lesson. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Hear us in the days of our distress, O God of wonder and might. Remember your promises of old and grant us your compassion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.